Kate Middleton and Prince William have a lot to bear in mind when it comes to raising their three children, in particular, Prince George who is third in line to the throne. But the Cambridges regularly break royal tradition in one particular way. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William had three children, Prince George, six, Princess Charlotte, four, and Prince Louis, one. The young royals have a lot of responsibility on their shoulders, whether they know it or not, as they are heirs to the throne. The royal family have many services at their disposal, including nannies, housekeepers and personal assistants, but Kate is very hands-on when it comes to her children. In a 2016 Amazon Prime documentary titled William and Kate, the journey royal experts explain how both William and Kate have broken away from royal custom. According to journalist Ashley Pearson, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have abided by some traditions, including buying mostly wooden toys for their children. Ems Pearson said, they are not overindulging or spoiling the young Cambridges. She added, having said that, Kate has broken precedent in the sense that she does more for herself than anyone else in her position has ever done before. However, Ems Pearson explained this caused some upset in the royal household. She said, in fact, not long ago, Kate and William's head housekeeper and head gardener both quit. They were a married couple. It was very controversial because they had actually worked for the Queen previously and then came over to work for Prince William and Kate. There was a lot of speculation at the time that Carol Middleton had been interfering in the housekeeper's duties, that Kate Middleton was doing a lot for herself, and that didn't sit too well with staff. However, in M. Pearson's opinion, Kate is in a difficult position because she didn't grow up with household servants. She likes to cook, she likes to do things for William, and she very much likes the privacy one gets without servants around. Royal correspondent Robert Jobson adds, William, in particular, wants to be a hands-on parent. Kate has told of her love of spending time with her children speaking during a visit to Lavender Primary School in honor of Children's Mental Health Week in February this year. Kate spoke to Matthew Kleinerman, the chief executive of the Ivy Learning Trust, who told People, she was telling us how much her children love cooking and how they cook for her. They made cheesy pasta the other day. One stirs the flour, one puts the milk and butter in. And they make salads and stuff. Food is important to her and she understands the links between mental health and physical exercise. Kate also said during the visit, My family makes me feel happy. We like playing outside together, and spending lots of time together as a family, and that makes me very happy. Kate Middleton, 37, is the Duchess of Cambridge who is married to Prince William, also 37. They are full-time members of the royal family. But Kate has refused to follow certain royal parenting traditions, an expert explained. She told, the classic silver cross has been used by royals, and Kate and William, for generations. However, the Duchess of Cambridge has not been afraid to break traditions when raising her children. Kate also values quality family time and has broken some traditions, Zoe said. For example, sending George to a mixed school dropping George off at school herself, or having her mum to help in the days after the birth, rather than an army of staff. Although they are being brought up in the royal family, it seems Kate has tried to protect the privacy of her children as much as possible. Zoe explained, Kate also values privacy and tries to keep the children away from the media apart from on more special occasions or events. Meghan Markle is the wife of Prince Harry, 35, and the mother of Archie Harrison four months. The royal seems to value privacy as well, but she has also avoided some royal traditions and has used a different parenting style to Kate. Zoe told, a stark difference is, of course, privacy and the fact that Meghan and Harry want to give baby Archie as normal an upbringing as possible. For instance, Meghan and Harry chose to forego Archie's royal title, keep him out of the spotlight and parent without an army of staff. It seems that they are in their own happy, private bubble. When Meghan and Harry had their first child, royal fans looked to see if they would take inspiration from Kate and Will. However, Zoe explained Meghan seems to be doing things her own way and has taken a much more modern approach to parenting. 
She said, Megan trusts in her own decisions and makes her own way when it comes to motherhood, taking influence from others outside of the royal family.